ब्रह्मणस्पतिर्जयते तरा भगवन्महर्षिमणय नम काव्यकंठवासीष्ठश्रीगणपति मुन नम श्रीगुरदत्तात्रेयाय नम श्रीमात्रे नम नमस्ते we are discussing about the most important work of sri ganapati muni in the tatva grantha series titled vishva mimamsa so in the past episode we have discussed about the importance and prominence of this work this vishva mimamsa has 52 adhikaranas so we will start with the pradhama parichedha and the first adhikarana om विश्वीमस प्रथम परछेद सधिकरण सो इन द फर्स्ट अधिकरण श्री गणपति मुनी इज रिवीलिंग अबाउट सत् सत् मीन्स ट्रूथ वॉट इज द ट्रूथ एंड वॉट इज द नेचर ऑफ दिस ट्रूथ हाउ इज दिस ट्रूथ रिवील्ड इन द वैदिक सूक्ता वॉट वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड एंड हाउ इज इट हेल्पफुल for our tapasya so we will begin that with a prayer to bhagwan sri ramana maharshi ramanasya guru ga prapya katakshyam jyoti radbhutam kurmo vishvasya mimam sam yada buddham yada asrutam now we begin this work of vishva mimamsa reasoning and analysis of this universe trying to find the answers of this universal creation by means of the grace of bhagwan sri raman maharshi whose grace has enabled us to pursue this matter and yada buddham yada srutam whatever that we learned from our elders parents and gurus and whatever that we have grasped in our intellect so far all that vijnana all that knowledge we are utilizing and applying here in this vishva mimamsa so a prayer to the parama guru bhagwan sri ramana maharshi padardhan kapilah praga vimsatin chaturuttaram shade vakana bhugmauni chaturo bhagavan fani with respect to the padardha tatvas padartha tatva means the nature of a object padartha means an object a particle is also a padartha of this universe when explaining about the padartha tatva means when doing the universal analysis by these great seers vedic seers bhagwan kapila has mentioned that padartha tatvas are 24 whereas the silent mauni kanabhuk whose other name is also known as kanada maharshi has revealed that padartha tatvas are six and patanjali maharshi whose original name is bhagwan fani he has revealed that padartha tatvas are four there is a difference of opinion in this exact number of padartha tatvas revealed by these three great seers so what ganapati muni is telling now vishvame tat sadevaikamiti srutyanta bhashitam vishvasmin nitare bhava satayeva vibhutaya varied diversified creation this universe is in fact nothing but the vibhuti of that sat that eternal truth which is the primordial reason for all this all which is all this all is in fact the reason for this universal creation as mentioned in the upanishads and also all this universal creation should be considered as the vibhuti of this sat 
sadeva that sat itself is this universe the manifestation of that sat that vibhuti is this universe having said that karanam sadupadanam karyam vishvam prakirtitam sato vishvasya cha dvaitam mrutika ghatayoriva an illustration of a pot and the mud mrutika ghatayoriva is used here to establish this fact that sat is in fact the upadana karana of this universe when manufacturing a product when creating a particular product talking in the terms of the general everyday business we need raw material we need tools and also we need a person all these three are mentioned as upadana nimitta sahakaya karana for every product so for creating a pot out of the mud the raw material is mud that is the upadana karana here and the potter man the one who is doing this is the nimitta karana and the sahakaya karana are the wheel his and also the fire so these are sahakaya karanas in this particular illustration analogy of a pot the pot is manufactured out of the mud and when you look at the pot the mud is seen everywhere throughout the pot the raw material is seen throughout the pot but the understanding has changed earlier our perception is that it is only mud but when a form has taken place and a when and when a name is given when that particular mud is converted into a utensil that you, that which can be utilized that which has a purpose now some qualities also have been built gunamulu attributes so all these things have been now created which are not there earlier all these attributes are in their very very subtle manner in the mud raw material but when the mud is used and the pot is created mrutika ghatayoriva so what is this particular stotra is telling us is all this universe has this parabrahma tatva throughout this particular upadana karana is sat sat itself is the upadana karana but unlike a potter man who is required and also the tools which are required in the case of the universe upadana nimitta sahakaya karana all three are this same parabrahman the sat and which is seen throughout the universe experience throughout the universe when i am saying seen based upon avedik pramana drishtim jnanamayam krutva pasyet brahmamayam jagat pasyet means seeing but is it like seeing with these eyes no drishtim jnanamayam krutva means when you perceive this universe with the sight of knowledge illumination then you will experience that all this all is in fact sat itself parabrahman itself the another name for sat is parabrahman known throughout vedas with different names sat parabrahman atma and various other names guru also is an another name of this sat guru is not a body so here in this stotra ganapati muni is establishing the same fact which has been established by sri adi shankaracharya and other great seers that all this all universe is nothing but a modification and manifestation of the same parabrahma tatva which itself is the upadana nimitta sakaya karana and this is all the vibhuti of that parabrahma tatva the reason why a mistaken identity is now perceived means that all these are all objects with different attributes sabdadi gunamulu all these attributes now being perceived all these differentiations now being perceived and discriminated this particular confusion state 
The reason for this particular confusion is because the same, apply the same thing to the Murtiga Ghatayoriva. So when the mud is raw, no attributes are perceived. It is raw material, that's all. But when the same mud is now converted into a pot, a shape and name, a form is created. Your idea is now changed and another identity is now born. Now you will refer to it as a pot, an object with attributes. This particular illustration helps us in understanding that when we perceive the objects, we don't perceive the truth. Ramana Maharshi used to explain these very intricate things by means of some analogies and illustrations. Very famous analogies that Ramana Maharshi used to prove this particular thing that I am telling now, that all this universe is the Kriya, Bhut, Kriya Vibhuti Vishesha of that Sat, nothing else but Sat. But why are we not able to experience it is because Elephant hides the wood. Woods hide the elephant. A very famous analogy. So here, when an elephant is made out of wood, a toy, the wood is used to create an elephant out of the wood. What is happening here? When you perceive the elephant and the skill of the craftsman, the sculptor, you will not see the wood, you will see the elephant in it. So the elephant is hiding the wood, you see, the raw material. The shape is hiding the raw material right in front of your eyes. It is laid open, the truth is laid open, but you will perceive it to be a different object. An animal. You will see an animal in the wood. Wood is of course the raw material. But the perception has now changed. You will perceive it as elephant. And woods hide the elephant. When you look at the wood, you will not see the elephant. The raw material is right in front. But we don't perceive it. We see the object with name, form, shape, attributes, qualities, character, nature, etc. But we don't see the truth which is there. So elephant hides the wood. Woods hide the elephant. So Sat, the truth, is laid open. But we don't perceive it because... Lack of Purva Parichaya. Lack of Purva Parichaya. That we will come to know in the coming sutras. Dravyam Kevala Mikshasva Parityajya Gunandhya Samaste Pitada Dravye Kim Vibhati Vinadivam. If you eliminate these Attributes, gunamulu, sabdhadi gunamulu means sound, sight, smell, etc. All these are attributes. If you eliminate the shape, form, name and other kind of vikalpa, differentiations and distractions and try to see, try to perceive the truth itself, parityajya, when you when you eliminate, when you discard all these attributes and try to see the core, then what will you see? What will you experience if not the Akasha? Divam means Akasha. Kim Vibhati Vina Divam. What will shine if not the sky? Means if not ether, the Akasha. In the previous sutra and this one, we must try to understand some very very intricate things by these two sutras. In the previous one it is said that the Sat, the Upadhanakarana of this universe, 
is throughout like mrutika ghatayoriva mud everywhere throughout every minute square inch you will see the same raw material but your idea is now changed you will see a pot in it just like that now you are seeing varied different objects of different names shapes forms attributes characters nature etc some are transient and some are intransient when you eliminate all these differentiations of external modifications try to focus and try to perceive then what will you but see what will shine if not the sky akasha what is the true meaning of akasha the sanskrit word when you make the padacheda here aaj plus kasate aaj plus kasate means aaj means that which shines kasate throughout that which shines throughout that which is shining throughout is akasha now looking at this particular thing through the scientific analysis also taking physics what is space lattice some of you those who are accustomed to the physical sciences principles of an atom an atom itself is indivisible but in atom itself we have some minute particles revolving and rotating around the nucleus there are some minute particles also in nucleus all these are energy particles with energy they move and between these minute particles inside is it not space inside there is it not akasha there what is the meaning of space lattice even inside an indivisible minute atom there is akasha which is shining throughout the great kanada maharshi proved even before all these scientists could discover what is the true nature of anu an atom anoraniyan mahato mahiyan that which shines incessantly inside a minute atom is that is that which is shining throughout the magnificent objects of this universe mahato makiyan that which is shining inside an indivisible minute atom is also shining inside the core of the sun the same energy throughout the grandeur of the universe can be perceived throughout so what is he telling now that the upadana karana of this universe can be perceived everywhere and it is when you eliminate all these vikaras all these differentiations and distractions and try to perceive the truth itself then what will shine if not akasha because akasha is not an object you cannot touch it you cannot smell it you cannot taste it you cannot say that it has shape it it has form fire air earth all these elements you can say that it has it is now having some attribute that can be differentiated but what about the space that which is the reason for all this universal creation is this eternal space aaj plus kasate that which shines throughout is eternal space that is the reason vedic suktas mentioned it mentioned that akasha shariram brahma is the vedic pramana telling that this all shining ever pervading akasha is in fact considered as the body of the parabrahman so that body is not the body that this body is now having two arms two legs why is it called shariram then why is it called a body because it is possessing an energy within a body within itself that's when actually this vibhaga is happening and we are saying that is sat when we are saying sat 
there should be asat also. But is there any asat in this universe? Is there any other material in the pot other than the mud, the raw material? Is there any asat in this universe where throughout a sat is the raw co material of this universe? So, the truth is laid open, but it is only the mistaken identity and illusion. The reason why all these confusions are now born. So, this Akasa Seriram Brahma, this Akasa is considered as the Swarupa of Parabrahman. So, this body is a Dharma, means its own Swakiya Swarupa. You cannot say it is a body. It is not a body like you can point. All this all, but referred to as a body. And inside this is this universal creation. This eternal space, scientists say that universe is ever expanding. Can you measure the diameter of this eternal space? Can you say the exact measurement of this space? Can you try to measure the space? Infinite space. So what is this idea of infiniteness here? Why, did, why this idea of infiniteness has been born in our consciousness? This Sat is infinite. You cannot say it is this. This Pramana cannot be given. That this is of this size, shape, quality, quantity, nature, characteristic, attribute. Nothing can be given to it. It cannot be even referred as an object. Not a padartha. But when we are speaking, we refer to it as sat padartha. We still say it is padartha. We still say it is body. But that body is not this physical body that has birth and death. So that is the true meaning of akasa siriram brahma. And why we are stressing this so much is because you must first get this Primary knowledge of Sat. What are you searching for? What is truth? Satya Satya, Vichakshana Satya Satya, Vivekam. This discrimination of rightful discrimination in that particular process, you must first establish what is that you are trying to search in this universe. So that which is you, that, that which you are searching is in fact everywhere. So what has to be eliminated has to be eliminated and the truth shines for itself. So with these sutras we conclude this particular episode. So in this episode so far in our quest to understand this truth Sat we learned that this Sat is the Upadana Nimitta Sakaya Karana of this universe that is being said. But we have to bring it to experience. This is only an indirect knowledge that you are gaining. Now you have to put it in practice. So, when you are trying to experience it, you must remember that just like Murutika Ghatayoriva, all this universe, every minute particle of this universe possesses that Parabrahma Tattva, that eternal truth. And when you eliminate all the qualities, means when you eliminate the phase of discrimination, when you, when your mind ceases to identify these differentiations, that's when you will be able to perceive, experience that which shines throughout Aj plus Kasate. That which shines throughout Akasa Sariram Brahma. And in the coming sutras we will know, we will try to know what the Vedic seers have revealed more about this Sadati Karana. Om Tatsa. Indro Vishwasya Rajati.